we've been looking at the book of Nehemiah uh, as a model for us as we seek to rebuild, to start again. <clears throat> and I don't know where you are uh, in your life, and you may not feel like uh, I'm not at a place at New Beginnings. I'm I'm at a place maybe towards the end. But actually, we're we're always rebuilding. Seeing <laughs> whether we like it or not, things have a way of falling apart, and we we are starting again. And Nehemiah. Uh, is a great example of a leader um, seeking to rebuild. Uh, the people of God have been brought into exile uh, in Babylon, and now they're being sent back, but but the city of Jerusalem was in ruins. What do they do? Nehemiah wants to rebuild. But he sees that it's not just about rebuilding walls or houses or a sanctuary, but it's about the people and bringing community together uh, again. And that at the end of that project, it's not simply enough to say, okay, we're done, let's go home. But to celebrate. To enter into joy because the Lord joyfully brings us back home and into relationship with him. And we need to enter that joy. Uh, as the walls are rebuilt, the people are gathered together and then they hear the reading of the word of God and actually they haven't heard it in a long time not like this and they're cut to the heart and there's weeping but I want to I want to want you to see how Nehemiah responds to that it's in Nehemiah chapter 8 beginning in verse 8 they read from the book of the law of God making it clear and giving the meaning so that the people understood what was being read there were some language barriers there and maybe some interpretation problems uh, but they explained it then Nehemiah the governor Ezra, the priest and teacher of the law, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to them all, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. For all the people had been weeping as they listened to the words of the law. They realized we have fallen short. We, we neglected it. We didn't know. We've been, we've been doing it wrong for decades. And they wept. But this is what Nehemiah says. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks. And send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord. The Lord has brought his people together and redeemed them. And he rejoices in them. And, he, and Nehemiah says, enter into that joy. You're feeling weak because of your mourning and your grieving. Find strength in God's rejoicing over you um are we good as the church in rejoicing a a a am i good with it i i have to tell you that naturally i'm a bit of an eeyore i'm always seeing the kind of downside and let's not get too excited about it we don't want to get our hopes up uh, i'm growing uh, but i get glimpses of it and doing it right sometimes like when i was celebrating the wedding of a deer friend really my best friend in in seminary a gentleman named scott some of you will know who he is uh the back let me give some background though to his story he became a christian in college along with his uh girlfriend and they intended to go to, into ministry together and, and they got married and and in the first year of their marriage they went off to seminary but that marriage just fell uh, apart uh, it was heartbreaking for my friend he really wanted it to work but uh, his wife decided to leave him. Um, and I met Scott right after that. Uh, and uh, he, he was still processing pain and rejection. And uh, there was a bit of a gloom over him. And then he met Patty. Uh, and the sun seemed to come out again. Uh, she was strong, honest, caring, lovely. Uh, and he loved her. And for someone who loves Scott, like myself, uh, it was just so exciting to see it, to see his joy um, and, an, and an inspired celebration at the reception. And I got to tell you, I had a blast. I got, got to be in the wedding uh, party and uh, we had we went to the reception and we danced and and sang and carried on with each other. And Scott came up to me afterwards and said, you look like you're having more fun than I am. It's because I entered into the joy of my friend. And the Lord invites us to enter his joy. He loves you. 
He loves his children. He loves his people. He calls them back to himself. And when they do come back, oh, there is excitement. There's not resentment. There's not recriminations. There's there's forgiveness. There's acceptance. And God invites us into that. We need to be better at joy. I need to be better at it. So I want to exhort you this week. When you see an opportunity to celebrate, take it. And know that you're honoring the Lord when you do it. Blessings on you all. 